Hi everyone. So I'm really excited for this video because I've been watching Dad V Girls for, well actually I haven't been watching them for that long, maybe like six months or something. But I feel like I've watched every single one of their videos within that six months. I feel like I'm the type of viewer who like finds a channel that they like and then just watches it religiously and watches every single video within that channel. Like. I don't dip in and out of a lot of different YouTubers. I just stick to what I like. At the moment, that's Dad V Girls and the Norris Nuts. Yes, I am a fully grown adult legend. <laughs> Catch me knuckles the whole lot. But I just find them really entertaining. I really enjoy watching their videos. I really enjoy following their family. And I saw that they had released a clothing line or a fashion brand, which is called Devu. And they made a really cool like documentary style video about it. So I bought a few of their items from their second drop. They did a first drop a few weeks ago and this is their second one. They're, I'm sure they'll do a third and a fourth, I don't know. But the second drop, there was a few things in that drop that I, say drop again one more time. There was a few things in that drop that I thought looked really nice and that I actually really wanted to buy. Luckily, I managed to get through on the website and get exactly what I wanted. I know a lot of people didn't because they, they sold out so, so quickly. But hopefully this will give you an idea of like sizing, quality, everything like that i'm gonna try them all on so although i really want to like all of these clothes i'm still gonna be super honest about what i think about the clothes because i think that's important for anyone who like might want to buy it i don't want to just sit here and lie and say that i like it when i might not completely like it you know i just really hope these fit because that's one thing i will say they don't do returns because they have like limited stock and stuff which makes sense but just in case you were thinking of buying it from the drop just be aware that they're not taking any returns so i really hope that these fit me <laughs> so it comes with this little thank you card it says thank you for your purchase so i've got four different items in total they all come in these bags which if i'm being honest i would prefer it if it was like recyclable i'm not sure if these are recyclable they're obviously like reusable you can use them for like traveling and put your outfits in them that might actually be really handy but it is still like plastic so if people throw it away that's not good it does feel a bit thicker than like single-use plastic so maybe it is but i do think like companies are now taking steps to like be more environmentally friendly i know that zara do like the cardboard boxes now with the tissue paper as packaging which i think is great but there's still so many fashion brands out there like asos pretty little thing that still use a lot of plastic and Shein is also really bad for it. So I probably would have preferred something that was recyclable, but also like most fashion brands aren't doing that. So, you know, can't really hate on them for that that much. So the first thing I got was the skirt. Oh, cute. It's like a little tennis skirt. It actually really reminds me of my old school skirt, which I loved because it was so flattering and I wish it wasn't my uniform because I definitely would have worn it. It comes with a really nice quality tag. Does it have shorts underneath? No, there's no shorts. That is the only thing that would have made this amazing because I love shorts under a skirt. <laughs> but I do think they've got shorts like as a separate drop, um, like some cycling shorts, which I kind of wish were in this drop because I also would have bought those. But yeah, no, this is nice. Quality feels good. But what I'll do is I'll try everything on and then talk a little bit more about it as I'm trying them on and let you know what I think. Okay, so this is the skirt. I really love it. I think it's so nice. And I always think like pleated skirts are really, really flattering on like every single body shape. And I also love the fact that it's not too short because that is something that like I really usually struggle with. I would say most of the time skirts like this are too short for me because of my height, but this is literally like a perfect length for me. The only thing I would change about this is having shorts underneath it as well, making it into a skirt rather than a skirt. But I still love it. And I think this is actually gonna be a really nice item for winter, even though a skirt is normally like a summery thing. I think if you wear it with like an oversized jumper or like tights and boots, I think it will look really, really cute. I love how it fits so high-waisted as well. I think everything should be high-waisted. That's just me. But yeah, I do really like this. Very cute. Okay, so the next thing is the boyfriend shorts. So here they are. So the quality of these feels really nice. I like the material. I also really like these toggle um, adjustment toggle things. I think that's a really nice touch compared to just like tie up ones. It's got pockets, which is a good sign. The only thing I would say about these is that it looks like it's a little bit long on the inner thigh area. Looks like they droop a little bit in the middle. I don't know whether that's because once they're on, that's like the style of them. But oh, that just looks a bit long to me. No, I don't know. But yeah, once they're on, I'm kind of hoping that will sort itself out. But I mean, we'll see. I'll try them on and you can see. <laughs> okay, so here are the shorts. And I actually think that now that they're on, 
the kind of like long middle part is less obvious which is good i do think these are definitely like longer than your average pair of shorts they are called boyfriend shorts on the website so maybe that's why they're a little bit longer but just to note maybe if you're like shorter maybe size down just in case they are going to be a bit longer i feel like this side of the tiny little bit longer than this side which again could just be a manufacturer's fault and maybe i was just unlucky and got the pair that were a bit off but what i will say alongside that is that it's a lot easier to tailor things to be shorter rather than making them longer obviously if they're longer you're gonna have to like, add material stretch it out i don't know but if it's too long you can just literally like hem it so it is nice as a tall person to see that there is like room for tall people in these clothes which you know i don't see very often so i, I really rate that but other than that i absolutely love these shorts they're so comfortable there's so much wiggle room and I'm all about comfort. I'm also one of those people that gets very hot very quickly. So I much prefer like wearing shorts when I'm like walking around the house. I wear shorts and pajamas. But yeah, I do really love them in general. So the last two things that I have are part of a set. They are the tracksuit. I feel like these ones are like the staple pieces in the collection. So like the ones that I see the most on like Instagram photos and stuff like that. So I got one, but I'm really, really hoping for one thing out of this tracksuit. And I just want it to be soft on the inside. I feel like recently I've been buying so many tracksuits that are like meant to be good quality. So I bought like some adidas um joggers from asos and they are just like the worst quality joggers i've ever seen in my life like they're just one like one layer of material which is really thin pablo's already bitten like five holes in them and i thought it'd be way better quality than that for, for adidas especially like compared to like an asos's own brand which I've also got and the ASOS ones are way better quality. So what I'm hoping for is like that soft fleecy inside material. I really hope it's got that. And I hope it's just like a bit thicker. I'll be really disappointed if it's like a thin material. So, well, let's just find out. It does feel thick, which is good. I'm gonna do the feel test. Oh yes. Oh my God, yes. Okay, yeah, that's really soft. I don't know if you can see how soft it is from just looking at it, but trust me, that's exactly what I wanted. That is so soft on the inside. Okay, thank God. But yeah, these are the mink joggers. I think they're amazing. They're such a nice colour. They also had them in white in this drop. And they also had them in like a buttercream and khaki colour in the first drop. But I really wanted the mink. I also like the grey, but that's not come out yet. So maybe I'll have to get the grey ones as well. They've got like double branding on the legs, which I think is really cool. Um, and they've also got the toggles on the bottom and in the middle which I love, I love those toggles. They've got the double branding on the legs as well, which is cute. And they've got a toggle in the middle as well. I also really like this waistband. It's like really thick and um, feels just really good quality. So I got a size large in everything and these do look like very forgiving. I will say that the sizing, it goes from extra, extra small to large. So I've gone for the largest size available and I'm size 12 to 14 usually and I'm five foot 10 if that's any, you know, help for people who are wondering about sizes, which I think they probably would have done better if they did extra small to extra large, just to have that little bit more inclusivity on the larger side. Like, so extra, extra small is like four to six, extra small is six to eight, small is eight to 10, medium is 10 to 12, and large is 14 to 16. So they've kind of skipped out 12 to 14, which is actually my size. So I wasn't really sure whether to go for the smaller one because they are oversized or whether to go for the larger one. I went for the larger just because I always think it's better to be like in something that's too big for you than something that's too small for you. So I went for the larger size. But I do think if I was to give some like constructive criticism here, it would be to do extra small to extra large or just do like extra, extra small to extra, extra large, just so there's a bit more inclusivity in the larger scale of the sizing. So those are the joggers. I'm gonna show you the top that goes with them, and then I'm gonna try them both on together. Very nice. I really do like this. I think it's such a nice color. But this does look very forgiving in size. So I do think this probably, just by looking at it, would fit a size 16, maybe even 18, but I'll try it on so you can see properly. Looking very nice, looking very cozy. I just had to show you as well what the crew top looks like with the shorts. I think together they are really, really cute. But this is like my perfect level of cozy, like some nice comfy shorts and a nice baggy jumper. So I just wanted to show you. Thanks. <laughs> this is so comfortable. Like the fleece on the inside, 
it just makes all the difference. I just don't think I can ever settle for something without the fleece lining now when it comes to like tracksuits and stuff. But yeah, these are so comfortable. I like that they're really oversized. Um, I know I mentioned about sizing in my last clip, but actually I'm pretty sure this would fit up to a size 18 because there is a lot of room in here. Like there's so much arm room here, like the, the drop sleeve, so that gives you all that extra room to move about freely and feel more comfortable. There's also a lot of room with the joggers, so you might be okay with these too. And also you've got the poly toggle if you need to tighten them, which is great, but also in the legs there is like lots of room for movement. I definitely could have sized down and probably got the medium um, in the top, not the bottoms, but the top especially. Uh, but I do really like things oversized, so I'm not bothered at all. But yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of the sizes if you were thinking about getting the large, the medium, like there is a lot of wiggle room. And another thing that I really, really rate about this is that the sleeves are long. Like if I was to drop my hands down, they come all the way like down to my knuckles. And from experience as a tall person, that is quite hard to come by as well. Like having good length in your sleeves is quite difficult for me to find. So I'm so glad that they've like obviously taken that into consideration, even just a little bit, but it does make all the difference when you wanna keep your wrists warm and you're over five foot five. And the same with the joggers, they come down to like my ankle length, which is great. I am a massive fan of this. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. I can just tell. It's just so comfortable. So I'm so glad that I liked everything, really. I was really, really scared that I wouldn't. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into the Debu brand, if you were thinking of buying your own items, and hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight into like the quality and the sizing or whatever. If you want to see me do reviews of any other brands, then let me know down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Wednesday at 5 p.m. now. I'm doing so well with my new schedule. I don't think I've ever been this organized in my life. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.